Hello, this is Dread, and in today's video topic, we are going to be going over some more Warlock buffoonery today. This time, it's going to be Leviathan Carver, Chaos Bolt, Proc, Harvest, Warlock. So, we're mainly building around the node inside Chaos Bolts that procs Harvest based on your chance for dex, and it has a one second cooldown for three procs. Now, the whole reason I'm even playing this build in the first place, if you're watching the footage, is uh, when release came around and we saw all the new nodes and stuff, Harry really, really, really wanted to see me play this build. Uh, he was like, hey, Dread, if you use a Leviathan Carver, which has a low attack speed rating, right, but you can get a lot of flat damage on it, if you take that and you proc it with, you know, Chaos Bolts, you completely ignore, you know, Harvest Downside. And it turns out uh, it wasn't absolutely it wasn't an absolutely awful idea. I think the build has some merit, which we'll be talking about. So the idea behind the build specifically is to utilize the node, of course, right? Proc harvest three times per second. And because of that, we can utilize whatever weapon we want. And then in this case, we're utilizing a Leviathan Carver. Leviathan Carver has been kind of a meme item, mainly because of its base attack rate. It's a very slow base attack rate, but it has a lot of flat and damage on it. This means that every so often, if there's a skill that does not care about your attack speed or anything like that, Leviathan Carver ends up becoming an option. And there, uh, this is no stranger to that. Thanks to the fact that we're proccing, of course, Harvest from Chaos Bolts, it means that instead of having that stinky 0.76 attack rate, we have effectively a three attack rate, like we attack three times per second. Now, this has a few problems. First things off, you have to stack decks to get the chance up, which means it's a bunch of prefixes that are gone. Although dex does give us 4% increased damage per point for harvest, so that's pretty nice, right? Then we have to get Chaos Bolts to hit enough to proc that, while also probably not investing too much into cast speed as, uh, you know, we need as much damage as possible because let's be real, we're playing with Harvest. And what ends up what ends up happening is we can proc as many Harvests as we want, but then the problem becomes, well, we can only proc three per second. And Harvest really is kind of mediocre. I'm not going to lie. Like I put a lot of effort into this build. Like you can go and look at the planner if you want. I have a two LP slammed Leviathan Carver with like fizz pen and crit multi. I have a two LP Solarion steps. I have a three LP, uh, like bleeding heart with double tier six. I have a four LP chest with a bunch of HP on it so I can get to 4k HP. I have a lot of shit for this build, right? And it's still kind of meh at like 500 corrupt. I mean, it was like 360 corruption. I should not be struggling this much with this much investment. And that kind of proves my point about Harvest and how mediocre it is. It has a few more damage modifiers in its tree, but it's definitely kind of lackluster. It's not like the best in the world. It's definitely not good enough to merit something like this. But we did try. And we got all the way to 360 corruption before I had to like put put in the towel. I was like, no, we can't move on anymore. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with the concept of the build and how I built the build. It's just like I said, the whole point of the build harvest is not really uh, that good. I think harvest definitely needs a gigantic buff. I'm talking like double this amount of damage. Right now it has a 70% added damage effectiveness, which then gets doubled because you deal double damage to curse enemies, right? And of course, uh, you have like a little bit of more damage in the tree. Uh, one of the cooler things about this harvest setup is since we have a plus four to harvest relic, yes, I actually splurged and got a plus four to harvest relic. Guess what? It was like 10,000 gold. Um, pretty cheap. Merchant skill is fun, right? Uh the the base crit nodes at the upper right of harvest, the ones that, you know, cost you life, those are really strong as it allows me to cap my crit with only a T5 crit prefix on my gloves and a T1 sealed crit chance on my helmet. And all of a sudden we're crit capped with harvest. That's pretty easy. And of course, that means that all the rest of our slots can be, you know, dedicated to dexterity, physical percent damage crit multi, which everything is uh, dedicated to damage. And we still kind of do, eh, 
even with the Leviathan Carver with 70% crit multi and 30% fizz pen, which wasn't even an option until this patch, right? Uh, even if you got a Leviathan Carver last patch, you definitely weren't getting fizz pen on it because guess what? It didn't exist last patch. So now that that exists and giving me such a large amount of damage and all of this and all that, it's definitely uh, missed the mark a little bit. I, like I said, like I said before, I, I, I'm happy with the build. I'm just more disappointed in Harvest because Harvest should be much better. I can talk about some of the other problems with the build. The biggest problem that I had with this build by far, other than the single target, is the clear can feel a little wonky. So like, for instance, the, the kind of philosophy that you're supposed to have with this is you're supposed to make a chthonic rift, right? Like chthonic fissure, and then have it cast chaos bolts for you and trigger your harvest. But the problem is one second is a very long time. I know that sounds crazy, but one second is a very long time. And it takes a while for that one second to like end. So if my chaos bolts go off in a random direction, right? And they hit a random mob and apply harvest to those random mobs. That's a whole second of uptime that I'm missing which makes cathodic fissure like kind of meh for clearing, even with like the double node with all the chaos bolts and all that, even if you can sustain the mana, it just didn't feel good because having to wait one second to use your harvest prox, because like for instance, you could like accidentally crit, I mean, you could accidentally trigger the proc three times on like a random trash mob and then you're going to try to kill a pack and all of a sudden your harvest is on cooldown. And I don't know. I think that there's a more elegant way of doing this node. I really think that like the other way around, it should be like every two decks, you get 1% proc rate and not have the cooldown. If I have a 50% rate on chaos bolts with like a hundred decks, like I should be able to reap the benefits of having multiple harvests per second, right? Obviously, make it so that it can only trigger if you like make it so that you know you can't just like trigger it a billion times on packs and stuff or what whatever you want to do, right? Like maybe make the max trigger rate like six per second or something. But at three per second, man, with this much investment and this like obviously this would not be that big of an issue if harvest itself was much better. But if they are not going to touch the current version of Harvest, this is definitely something that they should look into. Like, I, I, should, not ha I should not be able to put this much investment into a build, right? And it still be this mediocre, per se. Like I said, the build's been fun. I like the fact it even exists as a build. But I feel like as though it could be doing a little bit more damage than this. Now... That's because of the new modifiers with corruption. So the way corruption works now, most bosses have like a bajillion HP now, meaning that you actually need a very large amount of single target to deal with them, right? Which definitely doesn't help the case much for this build. Uh, you know, there's a lot of builds that kind of fail because of this now. But I think even if I went like Lich with like Death Seal and all that, like I still don't think I'd be able to like get enough damage with it. Well, hopefully in the future they'll revisit this node and maybe buff it a little bit. With all that being said, this has been Dread. There's not going to be a full build guide on this build because, like, I doubt I would want anyone else to play this. But I'll leave the planner down below if you want to look at it. Bye!